Hey guys, it's me, Steph, and it's been a few days since I recorded. Um, what's new with me? Uh, so my second job I've been out for since the accident because I can't lift anything because my chest hurts. Um, if I go this way, this hurts. If I turn this way, this side hurts. So it's just not really fun. Um, last I heard... I'm excused from working there till the 23rd, so I'm just, you know, enjoying my time after work and stuff, trying to fill in areas where, like, you know, I didn't have time before because I was burnt from working. Um, I don't know what I could start off with. Um, I watched Maleficent last week. It was really, 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 really good. I really, really liked that movie. It was really good. Um, and let me tell you how I cried a majority of all the previews. Like, um, I forgot which one it was, but it's the girl from Kick-Ass. And, like, it shows a preview of her. She gets into a car accident. And I remember, like, I was crying when I saw that commercial. It's like two minutes and I was crying. And then, um, I just remember hearing one of the ladies in the crowd going, Oh my god, there's children in here. And she was, like, freaking the fuck out. But, um, yeah. Definitely excited for those movies. Um, there was another one. I can't think of the name right now, but um, it's the makers of Wreck-It Ralph. Oh, I think it was like Project something. I think Project or like some kind. I forgot. It's the newest movie. Hold on. I forgot. It's like new movie creators. Hold on. Creators. Creators of Wreck-It Ralph. Mm. I give up, but I'm really excited for that one. It's the one with the little white figure guy that turned into like a superhero or whatever it is. Um, yeah, I'm super excited for that one. That one looked really funny. Um, what else? Um, I've been stuck mode on, um, Mario and Luigi's Dream Team. Like, I'm trying to beat that game so I can give, um, one of my friends back their 3DS because I've been using it. Um, yeah, I'm not... Like, I know I'm really close. I don't know how close is really close. So, I just... Huh. <sighs> what else? Um, oh my god. So, yesterday... Last night was the worst because, so I'm just, I'm just in my room, right? And I'm just playing my game and then I just hear my roommate scream like a girl and I was like, fuck, cockroach. And I was right. So he freaks out and he's just like, oh my God, it's a, it almost touched my leg. And he was just freaking the fuck out. And then like, okay, so I go downstairs and we're looking for it. And I just see its freaking little head crawl from like near where water our, our water gallon is. And then I'm just looking at it and I was like, oh god, you're so gross. You're so, so gross. Okay, so this is my lighter. It was about eh, like, like till there. And I was just like, dude, what the fuck? And I was like freaking out, right? And then, um... So we were looking at it, right? And I was just like, yeah, it's so gross, it's so gross. And I was like screaming and we were going upstairs and we were freaked out about it. Anyways, we go downstairs and then I see it crawling up the ceiling. So I'm watching it crawl and then it falls, right? And then we have like um, reusable bags on the top of our fridge. And you can just hear like the, the crackling of the bag. And I was just like, bleh, bleh, bleh. It's so gross. So, so gross, right? So I'm freaking out. And then, like, dude, we are insane. Like, I have a mop in my hand, and he has a bug spray, and we're just, like, trying to attack this little... Okay, it's a big little thing. Because, like I said, it was, like, that big. And I was just, like, freaking out. And then, like, it went behind the TV. And me and him were just so... Like, okay, I don't mind bugs for the most part, 
But if it can jump on me, or if it has wings and it can fly, like, oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. So, it goes behind the TV, right? And then, like, I have a mop stick or a mop in my hand, and then we're, like, just trying to figure out where behind the ceiling or where behind the TV it is. And then I find it, and I get the spray bottle, and I just start squirting it, right? And then it just disappears behind the TV. I could not stand still. Like, I was constantly, like, walking, just walking and just hopping around. Like, I burnt, like, I, I was, like, working up a sweat. Like, I was sweaty, and it was really, really hot, and I was just moving because I couldn't stay still. And I was on the phone with Roseanne, and I kid you not, we were on the phone for, like, 30 minutes. And I called her when we started, like, getting to attack it. So for, like, a good 30 minutes, me and my roommate just walked back and forth, like, oh, my God, oh, my God. And we were just trying to find out, like, ways to get rid of it. So I looked up online that um, you could get soda and you put it in like a bowl or something. But what my roommate did is he cut the bottle for the soda and then we just left the soda bottle thing. We are just gonna leave that outside because ideally what's supposed to happen is the cockroach climbs up it, tries to get the soda because they like, they're really attracted to sweet stuff and then they just fall in and drown. Now, yeah, that's what's supposed to happen. I don't know. Like, in theory, that's supposed to happen. I've never tried it. We were supposed to, but then when we came home today, yeah, it, it was dead. We, like, it's officially dead. It doesn't mean that it's not around anymore, because, I mean, they usually tell you when you find one cockroach, you're gonna find more. And we found one before in the bathroom, and this would be number two. So, for sure, for sure, for sure, Next place we move into, we're just going to buy that three-month thing where you don't have bugs. Like, you don't have ants. You don't have spiders. You for sure as hell don't have roaches. So, yeah. Mm. Bugs, man. Bugs. Mm-mm. Hate it. I hate it. Yeah, it's the worst. Huh. What else can I tell you guys? Um... The pain in my chest still hurts. I've just been on drugs for the last week. Like, they gave me, they gave me the goods, but it's not like I can take that while I'm working the first job. So that's kind of like my night stuff. But I mean, yeah, it would work if I could just take that, you know, and be able to work because then I won't be at, in pain at work. Like it's not too bad. It's just, like I said, when I move or, like, sometimes I'll, like, overreach on something. Dude, the most pathetic thing yesterday was when I was playing, when I was playing my game, there was a part where uh, you have to spin the stylus, right? And I was going like this. Tell me why I did that and this part stung so much. And I was just like, <laughs> I've never thought I could injure myself playing a game. Like, that's ridiculous. Yeah, that's, that's another thing that happened. Um, yeah, um, I'm probably going to cut another part for this because I don't know where we are at time. I think we're at eight. Let's try again. So, another thing I'm at is finally got me PS3. Okay, I know I'm late and everyone's getting PS4s, but let me tell you how, okay, I had a PS3 that one of my other roommates gave me. And it was working, and then it died, and then, like, every so often it'll turn on, and that's, that's, um, what I use to either play games or just use as, like, my media device where I can watch, like, Netflix or Hulu or whatever. And, yeah, if I didn't use that thing because it died, I would be using my Wii. And it's so, so, so slow. Yeah, it's the worst. So, yeah, finally, in the PS3 thing, I don't care if it's super late, at least I have one now. And, yeah, um, I was playing Kingdom Hearts, but then, like, I'm playing the first one again, and I didn't realize how long it takes for just that island part in the beginning and 
I've already beat the game, so I'm, de I'm debating if I still want to play that game all over again or what. Because I still have to beat Dream Team so I could give that back. And then, um, I finally have Diablo on here. Um, when one of my roommates has time, we'll probably catch up on that too. And let's get to shows. What have I been watching? Um, I've been marathoning LA Inc. Super late, but, like, it all started with, um... I remember watching it before, and I remember that, um, Aubrey girl, and I remember telling, um, Roseanne about Aubrey and how ridiculous she was, and as soon as we watched that episode, she was hooked, and then, like, I didn't marathon it from the very beginning, I just marathoned it from, like, that episode on, I think, season three, and then I'm getting into season four, so I'm almost done, and then, yeah. I was, I've been watching that a lot. Um, started Game of Thrones. Still haven't finished an episode yet. Last time I made it to 6 minutes. Now I made it to at least 30 or 40. So I'm almost there. Almost. Have no idea who the characters are. I know what kind of happens. But I mean, yeah, I'm really behind. And... Um... I really don't know what else to say. I think that's... Oh, no, I do. I do know what to say. So, just in general, I've just been having, like, issues with, you know, like, trusting and, yeah, trust issues, I guess. And, I don't know. It's really fuzzy most of the time when it comes to trusting people because it's like you give them as much trust as you would want back kind of thing but sometimes you want to trust someone with everything but you're clouded with what you see visually if that even makes sense I don't know that's just what I think like like you could trust someone it's just like when you start to see like, I don't know how to explain it. I don't know if that even makes sense. But to me, it's just like, you could trust someone. But what you see is you can't trust them. But you want to trust them. And you do trust them. But you're still mind-fucked. Because it's like, I see you doing something wrong. But I still trust you. Anyone ever have that issue? Maybe it's just me. Um, I'm all in my head right now. Um, what else can I say? Um, it's Shark Week, so I'm probably, probably gonna be as moody as ever, and yeah, I think that's, I think that's really about it. Like, I can't really think of anything else. So, um, yeah, uh, if you want to know more about my life, I guess, Check in for new videos, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, um, and yeah, that's all I have for today. Hope you guys have a great rest of the day, and I'm not sure when I'm going to record, but you should always check back. Okay, bye. Actually, you can see my cute little artwork that I got from Vegas, like, last year.